A house party in Plymouth Township got out of control once hundreds of kids showed up really from all over the place. Beach party sparked by a viral video on TikTok nearly caused a riot. People tell me hundreds of teens poured off the elevator. This is not your average party tale. We are about to delve into stories where innocent teenage dreams of partying turned into million dollar disasters in less than 24 hours. Please refrain from attempting any of these at home. Remember those high school parties where everyone was carefree, munching on cake and sipping coke? Well, hold on to your hats, because we're about to plunge headfirst into the new teenage world of chaos. While some teenagers dream of organizing grand events and enjoying time with friends, others turned that dream into a stark reality with disastrous consequences. Let's rewind to the 2000s, where a new wave of violence emerged as a shocking aftermath. Our first stop is the Netherlands, Project X Haren. With the release of Project X in 2012, there was a partying epidemic occurring in the real world, with high school and college-age kids around the world trying to recreate the party shown in Project X. It seemed like every day there was a new Project X party being advertised on Facebook. Our story begins in September of 2012, approximately six months after the release of Project X in theaters. The incidents happened in Haren, a quiet town in the Netherlands. It all started when Merta, a 15-year-old girl just about to turn 16, wanted to throw a sweet 16 birthday party. She just wanted people from her high school to show up and celebrate with her, but little did she know she created a public invitation for her birthday on Facebook. A few hours pass and all is well, with around 80 or so people accepting invitations to the party, but eventually this number began to get uncomfortably high. Merta's party invitation seemed like a free-for-all opportunity to throw a Project X in real life. It's been reported that within 48 hours, she got 16,000 people accepting her invitation. She started having some serious concerns here and she discussed it with her parents. So they urged her to take down the post and this was a recommendation. She did what they asked her to do, but it was too late. Hashtag Project X Haran went viral and groups were made for the festival-sized event. It was more than she and her parents, or even the whole town, could take. It is looking likely to be a disastrous party with more than 30,000 invites. A trailer for the event was posted on YouTube on September 19th of 2012, racking up more than 30,000 views in the following days. And local news media even picked up on the upcoming Project X hype, and they reported on the event, which in a way advertised the party even more, making the situation worse. On September 21st, the momentous day arrived when Haran was demolished in under 24 hours, resulting in damages ranging from zero to millions. Law enforcement came to stop this mess by all means, but the teenagers were totally insane that they called for backup, yet still weren't able to stop it. They were getting violent and burning down local structures and cars, breaking local shop windows and piling in to steal whatever they wanted. There was nothing that the town's police force could do, and Project X Haran had fulfilled its goal. It was truly a real-life Project X party. More chaos happened in Essex, England. Picture this, a regular birthday party in full swing, right? But then pow, just like that, everything turns into a total circus only seen in crazy movies. There were broken windows and damaged furniture, and that's just the tip of an iceberg. Guess how it all began? Well, with just one Facebook invite. Can you imagine? Now for the killer. So how did things go from naught to mayhem overnight? Was it that whole YOLO thing which was taking people by storm? Or maybe it was a single party gone viral? Although this is possible, isn't it? You feel me though, this is really a paradox. The hero of this mess is... Sarah Hein. She was turning 15 that time, so she invited her friends on Facebook to a party that quickly turned into a wild circus, after the guest list swelled to hundreds of teenagers and caused thousands of dollars in damage to her family's home. She posted, along with her address, Can everyone stop telling me how f 
My house is gonna get after this party. Worth it, YOLO. You only live once. That's a pretty bad slogan for an outcome like this one. Now let's go to the United States. On February 20th, 2010, can you imagine what went down at this teenager's house party? It was the Abbott family's home in East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, when they took a trip to Paris and left their 18-year-old son Alex in charge. Just like straight out of a movie, isn't it? Imagine this, an innocent-looking get-together suddenly turns into a wild bash that ends up causing damage worth $45,000. And a hundred teenagers caused this damage. How did it reach to that level, you ask? It was all triggered by a simple online invite. Yes, indeed, just a few clicks and suddenly chaos reigns. The power of social media has struck again. But here's the twist. What on earth could have driven these youngsters to behave in such a destructive manner? Was it the excitement of the time or were they high with adrenaline? Alternatively, could it be as a result of pressure from the online world to conform to unrealistic expectations? It is difficult to tell, but surely there was no joking matter in its wake. Furniture was broken, doors were kicked in, holes were punched in their walls and ceilings, carpets were soaked in urine and bloody stains, and items were stolen. They urinated in every single drawer in the house. Several items were also stolen from the house, including a laptop, a PS3 game, console, jewelry, Dan Abbott's truck was stolen during the party and damaged. Whatever left behind by them is messed up. Some of the damage simply can't be undone. You might not believe what happened in this high school boy's parental house. Guess what? They decided to throw the largest party ever and invited hundreds of people and advertised about it on Twitter with the hashtag, hashtag mansion party. There were more than 2,000 people. Doesn't that sound like fun? Well, it wasn't long before things got out of hand. The police sent 60 cars to the house to break up the party and they did it successfully. But it resulted in an incredible incredible $70,000 worth of damages. The house is said to have been left in ruins, furniture destroyed, rooms trashed, and a chandelier smashed. It looks like a horror movie scene, but wait for it. The parents were on holiday at that particular time and didn't even know whatever was happening while they were away from home. Can you imagine their reaction when they arrived back to find their mansion destroyed? Have you ever heard about the Project X party that shook Rutgers University? Hold on tight, because this was one epic bash straight out of a Hollywood movie, literally. Inspired by the wild actions in the film Project X, Rutgers students thought why not do their own version? And let me tell you, it was on another level. This means hundreds of students, insane amounts of partying and just utter chaos that would blow your mind. The news quickly spread across campus like wildfire, making the year's big bash unstoppable. But here is where all hell broke loose. The party was reported to have spiraled out of control that night, where students went totally insane, setting fire, throwing glass bottles with damages to property recorded. All neighbors filed noise complaints, and I don't know what was going on in their minds while doing that. Even the police were called in to put an end to it by all means. That was a legendary night for Rutgers, characterizing the true fraternity power and an invincible force of an epic celebration, in their opinion, but the reality was totally far from that. Consequently, Rutgers University became a national talking point in every media outlet ranging from news agencies to social platforms, which were filled with stories about this epic occurrence. Navigating social media can feel like walking on eggshells. One small mistake and bang! anarchy follows. So, in retrospect, what are your thoughts on this? How do we move forward in this wild world of likes, shares, and hashtags without inciting riots? Now, the million-dollar question. How can we prevent such online bashes from spiraling out of control next time? This serves as a reminder not to hit send when impulsively searching for the next party invitation. Akin to a cautionary tale in today's newspapers, warning against making reckless decisions late at night after a few too many beers. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Subscribe to unlock a trove of other thrilling videos on our channels. Until we meet again.